Hey guys, welcome to part two of uh, Let's Play The Sims 3 Into The Future. I'm sorry if I don't sound normal, at least to me I don't sound normal. I think I'm trying to get a cold, but I'm fighting it off really, really well. So, yeah, I uh, am so excited for this part. As you can see, the time portal arrived already. But the guy didn't, so I'm actually going to have one of them inspect it and see what happens. Like, I know what happens because of the live broadcast, but I can't wait to see it for myself. And, uh, wait, actually, before that, you guys, I'm going to tell you guys the new traits and lifetime wishes that came with Into the Future. Because I forgot to do that and create a sim um, part of my video last time. Okay, you guys, so before I get into the traits and everything, I um, want to go through the limited edition content because I have a limited edition because I pre-ordered through Origin and you get the quantum power pack that they were talking about on the Sims 3 live broadcast all the time. So you can put your Sims on ice, tap into the benefits of the quantum power, and put your Sim in timeout. Uh, like, it boosts their needs, like, when you put a child or, to or toddler, I mean, in the playpen that came with the Royal Skies, that's basically what will happen to an adult sim or teen sim when you put them in the Quantum Power Pack. They can also dream in there and raise skills. I haven't seen the Quantum Power Pack yet, but I have downloaded it from the thesims3.com, uh, but I haven't even looked at it yet. And if you order through Origin, you also get the dark industrial set and it comes with a new fireplace floor grates um, new windows a ladder and then a new staircase so that's really exciting too for like builders or whatever but now I'm gonna tell you guys which uh, traits and everything and lifetime aspirations and all that good stuff came with the game cuz I really was excited to know that there's a new uh, what is it called a new trait so I actually need to go in and add some traits to them uh, for the future. So I'm going to do that. So there are two new skills and one of them is the advanced technology skill. And how you get that is like playing or working with all the new technology in the future. You can't gain it in the present day, which makes perfectly good sense. And then there's also the plum bot making skill. So those are the two new skills, and then the two new traits are bot fan, and if your sim is a bot fan, they really like bots, um, obviously, and they want to be them. They, like, really want to be a bot, but it actually makes them be able to make bots easier, so, like, if they want to be a bot maker and they're a bot fan, it helps them gain the skill faster, and then... The second trait is unstable, and I think this is hilarious. Its traits are, and can I mean, I'm sorry. Traits are in a constant, unpredictable flux, and they are prone to delusions. I don't know if I want any of them to have unstable, but I think I should, you know, since it's the last, you know, expansion pack, and it's a new trait. So I think I'm going to give one of them unstable, but I don't know which one. <laughs> The new lifetime wishes are high tech collector, and that means your sim wants to reach level 10 in advanced technology and own a hoverboard, dream pod, food synthesizer, holo disc, and a jetpack, which is all the new cool items that came with Into the Future. And then the second one is more than a machine. Your sim wants to reach level 10 in the bot building skill and then give a plum bot a, um, sent a sentence. Well, I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> the, and then the third one is made the most of my time. Experience all the alternate, all the art, alternate, sorry, you guys, futures. And then be honored with a legacy statue. And I really want to do that one. I think since I have three sims, I can make one of them want to be the high tech collector. One of them be more than a machine. And then um, one be honored with the legacy statue. We can try to get all of that done. And the new lifetime rewards, I think there are a few. I think there's like four or five. Yeah. So the first one is time remote control. It allows you to um, select between the three futures, choosing which one is current fate um, or um, semanity. And then the future sim uh, 
is another one and it helps you upgrade a sims phone helps you better fit within oasis landing basically with technology and then there's portal immunity which means you don't get time travel sickness and then trait chip bun bundle i want to get this really really bad and it's only ten thousand lifetime points so i really want to get that it says this gives a sim a collection of trait chips without having to make them i just to you know like get it going and there are two new careers, so you can be a plumbot dealer, like sell your plumbots that you build, or a renowned astronomer at a stellar observatory. Oh, sorry, three. And then you can be in the bot career. Uh, it's a rabbit hole career, but there's two regular ones. And then there's also new plants and recipes. I don't know if you guys care about those, but yeah it's crazy there's like all together more than like 20 different plants and collectibles new collectibles and all that so and there's also new gnomes and yeah i think that's it because that was really long <laughs> that was a lot of information so now i think we are going to change their traits and i'll tell you guys what i do and then we're going to inspect the what is this thing called? The time travel little thing. <laughs> okay, you guys. So here's Chantel. And she already had all of these traits except the bot fan. So now she's a bot fan. And her lifetime wish is to be more than a machine. So she wants to reach level 10 in bot building and then give a plum bot a sentence. Or a sin. A sin yeah. Whatever that word is. It's so... Like, yeah <laughs> and that's it for her okay you guys and Jarvis he had all these traits as well already and he's brave flirty friendly party animal and unstable I gave him the unstable trait I thought it would be funny um so <laughs> he wants to be a high-tech collector so he wants to own all of the new stuff in the future and then reach level 10 in advanced technology skill Okay, you guys, and I apologize if my mic's really loud, but it's really loud around me now, so I decided to turn up my microphone, but, um, yeah, so last but not least is, uh, Emma. Her traits are artistic, um, computer whiz, friendly, irresistible, and party animal, and she wants to be made the most of her time and experience all the alternate futures and be honored with a legacy statue, so... I'm really excited for that as well. And you guys, I can't believe I forgot to tell you their backstory. That's like really important to me. Like I love like writing things out like that. So I'm going to read you guys their backstory since I forgot to do it. I can't believe that. So Chantel and Emma known each sorry, Chantel and Emma have known each other ever since elementary school. They were both born and raised in Twinbrook by extremely proud conservative American parents but during their teenage years they got overwhelmed by all of their constrictions and rebelled in a brief moment of rebellion after high school they decided to start partying and just having fun with life and most importantly made the biggest decision of their lives to move away for college to Sunset Valley Chantel finished college with a degree in science and Emma finished her basic education degree now that they have graduated and somewhat settled into Sunset Valley, they are ready for their new lives full of adventures with their friend Jarvis, who they met in their last year at university. Let's hope that all of their new adventures affect their futures in a very positive and exciting way. So, you guys, that's just their little backstory. I hope you guys like it. And, yeah, now with all of that long intro and all of the talking that I've done and explaining... Now we can ex inspect this portal thing. Um, let's see what happens. I'm really, really excited. Like, super excited. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh, okay. What's happening? Is she going to the future? I thought a guy was supposed to come. 
look at Chantel's face, you guys. She looks so scared. <laughs> Oh, there he is! Yay! There he is! What's his name again? Forgot his name. Uh, they said it so many times in the live broadcast, but for some reason, when you have so much excitement, you forget all the stuff you know about the game. It's, oh, Emmett. Emmett Relevart. <laughs> She's fanning herself. Is she hot? I wonder if there's seasons in Into the Future. But, okay, it says, greetings, I'm Ivet, um, Relevar, you seem to like adventurous, you seem like an adventurous, and perhaps you'd like to use my time portal. All the time travelers need an almanate to chart how your actions in the present reflect your sim's future in Oasis Landing. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. It says, great, wooly. Um, llamas, I was on my way home to Oasis Landing and my time portal experience to, oh, wow, that's sad, disruption and its power cells were thrown all over. Can you help me collect them? Find and collect all the cells on your lot. Okay, how do we do that? Uh, on the lot, there's nothing on our lot. I just built this place. Oh, Oh my gosh, there they are. They like popped up. Or who has to do it? They are just talking. Do they like each other? Oh, you guys. I think that Emma and Jarvis are going to like hook up or something. Because they are like chatting it up. A lot. Sorry about that, you guys. Collect power cell. Okay, she's talking to him. So they have to collect them? Jarvis is not helping the time traveler. Chat. <laughs> Chantel is not helping the time traveler. Yeah, she is. Who is? Oh, she's helping the time traveler? She's not even the one who did it. Whatever. Okay. She's collecting all the cells. Let's see. Let's make sure I click on all of them. Um, I don't even know if I want to go to the future like right away. But I'm so excited for them to go, so I think I'm just going to do it. Oh, no, not go here. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Good, it replaced it. Oh, did I miss one? Yep. Did I click on this one already? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's so cool. Okay, you guys, so she finally got all the power cells, and it says, Being awarded a legacy statue is hard work. Check the time almanac to see the requirements and the reward for earning one. Okay. I need to do that. I don't know where the almanac is. Let's see. Is that it? Oh, this. Do we all have one? We all get an almanac of time. I'm so excited. Okay, so who's flirting? And why is Chantel going in there? We're trying to go to the future. You need to use the restroom. All of you guys need to use the restroom. Oh, gosh. We have to go. Okay, you guys, so they're going to use the restroom, and then I'm going to cut back in and have them go to the future. Okay, you guys, so they're traveling to the future. Um, I said travel with. And she's getting in, and, oh, she's gone. And, oh, we're leaving. Ah! Okay, you guys, so we're here in Oasis of Landing. I don't know why it didn't do a flyover for us. It just popped them right here. Didn't even do flyover, but, um, maybe it's because of some of my mods or something, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. We didn't get to see the flyover, but they are here. They're here. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. So it says, um, what does it say? It says, Emma Kelly, um, some of your descendants have been located and they live at 1125 Serenity Drive. Okay, and this is attention property owner. We don't need to know any of this stuff. So it says, Jarvis Stacker, some of your descendants have been located, and they are at 1120 Cordial Court. 
Okay. Wow. And last but not least, I guess it's Chantel Reed. Some of your descendants have been located, and they live at 223 Ascension Avenue. I actually want to do that first. I've been so excited to see, like, the descendants part and family aspect of this. So I think we're going to head straight to our descendants' homes. But um, let's first see who they are and all that good stuff. Can we? Um, I can't see their faces. Why not? Okay, guys. So, so it looks like Jarvis's ancestors are Adolfo Thacker. Helena Thacker looks really pretty. Ira Thacker and then Sunshine Thacker. Are they twins? And then Jamie Thacker. And it says that they are ostensibly... Poor, that's sad. Aww. Um, working class is Emma Kelly. Her family is Dominic. Mm, wow. Lorde and then Michelle Terrell. Okay. They're blooming, so they have a big household size. And then they're blooming too. Chantel's. They're fortunate. Her family is very fortunate. So... They don't work, or what? I can't see them. So, but yeah, so they all, oh, it's sad. It goes low class for Jarvis, and then middle class, basically, for Emma, and then rich, kind of, for Chantel. That's, so we got three different types, so I think that's good, I guess. So we can experience, you know, all the different ways of life with their descendants. I don't know if we should go see them yet. I actually want to have them fly around on a jetpack really, really bad. I guess they could fly to their descendant's house. <laughs> so let's find the power packs or whatever they are. So it looks like this is the place that we're going to be staying for a while. I don't think I want them to move into their house until I know that they like the future. So I'm really, 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 really excited. Um, this place is so cool. The new beds. Oh my gosh. Is that a computer? OMG. That's how the new computer looks. That's so cool. Do you guys see that? It is like a little ball. And, oh, I always get too close. It looks like a little ball. That's a cool picture, though. Uh, this little ball right here. Oh, my desk. It's so cool. I can't wait for them to play with technology. Is that a dresser? Oh my gosh. This is so a dresser. This white thing right here. This tall white box. I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm so excited. All of them right now are putting their jetpacks in their um, inventories. And I think they're going to fly around. So let's see. Where should we have them fly to? Hmm. I don't know if I want them. I want them to go to their descendant's house, but they're, like, super excited. So I want them to go somewhere kind of fun. Let's see. What is this place? This is Travel to. Oh, so that must be, like, a center or, um, like, a railroad, I mean, train station, the new train station place. Uh, where should we go? Okay, you guys, so I decided that they're going to visit the um, EPXI Imports Gallery. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh, you guys, look at this taxi or cab or whatever. It's so, so, so cool. Oh, my gosh. It's so cool. I love it. I thought they were going to use their, like, jetpacks or whatever. But it looks like they're not, and they're just going each individually into into cabs. So, um, yeah, that sucks, but at least they came. I wish they would use their little jetpacks. Okay, you guys, so here is how this place looks. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It, there's a car in the middle. There's this digital screen right here, which is so cool. There's a lot of them, actually, like, ads that are digital. Can we, like, do anything to them? We can just view it. Are those all-in-one bathrooms? Oh, my gosh. I'm adding them to the house and building. 
OMG, that's like amazing. <gasps> and is this a gym? Oh, this is a gym. And oh my gosh, there's so many cool things in here. Is that a statue or is that a person? Oh, it's like a mannequin for clothes. Let's see, it says you can view it or you can buy it for 425 simoleons. Oh, and look at some of the people who live here. They, oh, they look so cool. Well, they don't. The, what's her name? Colleen. They look like they are stuck here and they want to go home. <laughs> but, uh, he, Gregory Langrab, and then Cheryl Langrab, and Timothy Langrab, they look really, really cool. Like, they belong here. And then this is our first spot. Oh, what's her name? Model U. Oh, she doesn't have a cool name. They could have gave her a better name. Can I rename her? That's not nice that she has that name. I want... Chantel to talk to her since she wants to build bots. It says adjust trait chip, friendly introduction, and then adjust her trait chip. I wonder what that does. And while Chantel does that, we're going to have Emma. Let's see. We're going to have Emma. Oh, okay. I just realized that this is the store that's in the trailer. So I feel so mean for saying that they look weird, that family over there, because they're probably here to get new futuristic clothes. We probably look just as weird as them. But uh, Chantel's introducing herself to this bot. Oh, this is so cool. You guys, I'm so excited for this. Like, you guys have no idea. Oh, I want to watch her do this trait chip thing. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, where did Chantel go? Oh, this is so cool. Like, I just met you, but I want to get in your brain <laughs> and fix you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I had to take some pictures. Sorry about that, guys. But, um, uh, now... Ah, this is so cool! Adjust trait chip. What is this one? This one is... Cleaner. She's a cleaner. Solar-powered. Robo-nanny. All oh, limitless learning. Uh, stimulated emotions. Efficient. And musical machine. And she's a cleaner. Oh, she's, like, well-rounded. I don't want her to be emotional, though. I don't want her to be emotional. I want her... I guess. Well, I don't have anything to change it with, so I guess she's just gonna... I guess I did that for no reason. Inventory. Oh, I took that one out of her. Uh, no, um, efficient. I want to take efficient off of her, too. And then simulated emotion she can have back. And then take her efficient from her. No, actually, I don't want to take anything from her. Now I know how to do it, so it's cool. That was just fun. OMG. I can't wait for her to start building bots. We're going to visit the bot emporium, I think, in the next part, you guys. So I'm going to end this part right here, um, and I will talk to you guys all later. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time of day it is when you watch this video, and I'll talk to you guys all later.